Brooksaw Antiques here. Today we have this 1950 Underwood Universal vintage portable typewriter. I'm going to show you how to use the functions and make sure they all work. This is the adjustable paper guide. It helps you feed the paper in straight. I like to line it right up with the platen. The platen is the main roller that feeds the paper. And you're going to want to lift this paper belt up before it feeds through. And the margins are located behind the carriage. It's easier to move them from the front by reaching back because of the way they're angled. But you can still see how it's kind of hard from the back, but you can still do it. And I like to set them at the beginning and the end of the page. Once you hear the bell, you're at the end of the margin. You hit the line space, gets you back to the beginning, skips one or two. Right now we have it on single space, but if you want double space, there is a switch underneath the knob, a little secret switch here. And if you push it back, it'll skip two spaces. We're gonna keep it on single for now and finish typing. Actually, I was able to fit all the letters on the keyboard in one line because this has elite typeface, which prints 12 characters per inch. So on this next line, I'll just type a sentence. Really well-designed machine. Underwood's made some of the best typewriters of all time. And this one is one of them. Very, it feels like a luxury typewriter, but like kind of at a budget. I think that's what they were going for. To pull the page out easy, there's a switch on the right side here. You just push it forward and it unlocks the rollers underneath the platen, allowing you to pull the page out easy or load thicker paper like carbon copy or cardstock. Got a backspace on the top left here. That works good. A shift on each side and a shift lock on the left. To clear that, you just hit the shift button again. MR stands for margin release. So when you get to the end of the margin, there's a mechanism that locks the keys. If you hit the MR button, it'll allow you to type past that lock. That works good. Open the hood. Get your touch control on the left here. The higher up you go, the more tension there is when you hit the keys and they respond faster. Lower you go, you don't have to hit them as hard, but they don't respond as fast. Color selector switch right here. Right now it's on blue because we have an all black ribbon. So this will print the top portion of the ribbon. If you have a black and red ribbon, you move it down to the red, it'll print the bottom portion of the ribbon. The, the top one just prints the top portion of the ribbon. A uh, black and red ribbon would have red on the bottom. But you can actually double use that ribbon if you switch that down to red when this is all used up. This is your ribbon reverse selector. So right now all the brand new ribbons loaded on this right side here. So when you wind it, it's pulling to the left. And if you flip it to the back side, it'll pull to the right. We're going to keep it pulling to the left for now. Carriage release on each side. Right there and right here and this switch will disable the spacing when you turn the knob and so you can get to an exact spot on the page you flip back each one of those clicks is one space you can also do that by pulling the knob out and then it does it automatically and that's about it now available on ebay or etsy search brooksaw antiques